football for the Redbirds. At forward, Kenny Wright and Danny Muller. They're going to go a little bit bigger today. Wright and Muller, 6'5 and 6'6. Brian Kern, big, strong guy inside. See if they try and establish him. And Trotter and Smiley, two surprises in the backcourt at 6'4 and 5'10. There's Kevin Stallings, 26 and 20, in his second year here at Illinois State. Now, the sole standing Salukis, and boy, these guys are tough. Timmons and Carr, the forwards, are a great one-two combination. Timberlake in the middle, 6'9", can bother you a little bit. Lusk and Hawkins, the guard, are the real keys for this team. If Lusk hits the outside shots, it makes this team very difficult to play against. Rich Heron is their head coach. 176 and 119, ninth year here at SIU, and he has done a tremendous job, always winning records, and a lot of people in the building. And we got a good crowd on hand today. Our look back at our series. SIU leads this one 52-49. They've won four straight, though, and that brought them back over that 500 mark. Been a good all-time series with these two teams. One of the comments about the starting guards, Trotter and Smiley, I guess when you're playing, Tom, against one of the leading scoring teams in the conference, you kind of fight fire with fire. So uh, Smiley and Trotter, Smiley had 13 and Trotter 16, 29 points against Bradley on Wednesday night, and obviously Kevin felt he needed a little more scoring. It's going to be an interesting matchup. You and I have talked a lot about Southern Illinois, and, and we've oh. talked about Illinois State, and how Illinois State can come in here and make this thing work today. This is going to be a very difficult place for them to win because, let's face it, SIU is awfully tough here. They, they've won 43 of their last 46 games in the conference here. Two things. They have to shoot well, Illinois State, obviously, from the perimeter, Tom, but also the rebounding because the best rebounding team in the conference is Southern. The last team in rebounding in the conference is Illinois State. Right and Carr ready to jump center. And the tip tapped, and finally SIU will get it. Hawkins will bring it across the timeline, and they'll get started in their offense. Man-to-man -man offense. Worth it on the right side. Timberlake, not really a scorer. No, and that's a good matchup with Kern on him, because Timberlake, you're right, is not going to score. Out it comes to Timmons. Back to Lusk, comes inside, gives it back, open jump shot. Boy, has he been on a roll. I mean, 15 of 19 in the last two games, and he has hit seven straight three-point shots. That wasn't one there, but he has been on a roll, Tom. This is Muller, their freshman. Boy, you, you know, you put it all together, the kid's even got a 4.0 grade point average. Trotter puts up a long two and nails that. Boy, that's that's a good move, and that's exactly what they need, some of that outside scoring. There's a little full-court pressure right there by Illinois State. This is Carr. The guy who can get his own shot and did right there, just couldn't quite convert. And the, the defensive assignment we talked about, Muller is guarding him. Almost threw it away as Trotter will come back and get it. Now we'll get a look at SIU defensively. They come out in the man-to-man. -man. Muller on the wing can shoot that three-pointer, but not a guy that's going to look for it especially a lot. See, a switching man-to-man -man defense by, by Southern time, and it's very hard to run your offense, and we'll get into that. Right on the baseline, and the tip comes out, and here comes SIU again with Timmons. SIU can make it really tough when Carr and Timmons are both oh. shooting the ball well. Timberlake gives it back. Baseline three, and if he is on, if Hawkins is on, it is really difficult to play against this team. Had a big, big game against Evansville. That kid has really come on. And comes down to the other end and picks up the personal foul. See, Southern continues to get better, Tom. Their perimeter players continue to improve, and their point guard position has more stability now. You know, they lost right. Lowry, and boy, they struggled for a while, but more stability at guard, and Hawkins has given it to him. Muller puts up the quick jump shot that short. Rebound pulled down. Carr looks to make the baseline move. Boy, he was in a funk, had only 29 points in three games, Tom, until the last couple of games. Now he's letting the game come to him a little more. He was just forcing and getting frustrated. Salukis with a good start. 
Kern, a good outside shooter. Let's see if they try and bring him out a little bit or if they want to go in and try and muscle him up. See, they're just switching. That was a good move. Smiley just didn't get him the ball. See, Tom, every time Illinois is trying to do any down screens or back screens and they're moving and rotating, Illinois Southern is just simply switching. Now, what you've got to do is figure out a way to beat that switch and get them in between switches. you got to pop out the screener and get them. Lusk gets it over to Timmons, and now they'll set it up. Carr gets it out high with Muller on him, almost walked. You called it on Lusk, Tom, but that's the guy that's got to light up for them. Baseline jumper way too strong. Smiley accelerates down the floor, pitches it out to the corner. Look to get it back. Nice. It's great anticipation. Oh. Inside, Timmons with the strong move, and he's fouled. Boy, Carr got tangled up right in front of us, almost hurt himself. Man, he just tripped over someone else's foot. It was absolutely incidental, accidental, but boy, I was really worried about him. Official comes over to make yeah. sure he's okay, and he says, oh, yeah. Pretty good move inside by Timmons. Almost had a chance to convert it for a three-point opportunity right there. Boy, this is their game transition. When I asked about keys for both teams, they both said rebounding, obviously, but they also talked about transition because transition defense I'm talking about, Tom, because both of these clubs love to get up and down the floor. Well, Southern would like to make this an up-tempo game as much oh, as they could, gosh, wouldn't they? Absolutely. Now, Drake the other night when I was here on Thursday just absolutely reduced it to a half-court game and used the matchup and everything else to slow down the tempo, and they were, they were only one point behind at half. Kern out high, and boy, the Timmons comes right out on top of him. Trotter makes the move, nice move, and the inside puts it in. That's a big bucket. And again, they come out with full court pressure. And now Timmons will take his time and bring it across. Just a nice, easy control yep, dribble, and he absolutely. handled it. Yep. Carr on the baseline, high archer, that one's off. Nice strong rebound inside and the put back by Paul Lusk. That is one of the things he's doing. He's a fine passer, but he's also been getting a lot of offensive and defensive rebounds, Tom. And if you're not scoring, you better be doing some other things or you're gonna find yourself on the bench. Smiley and they're way off Smiley as he gets the ball outside. They're more worried about the double yep. team inside. See, look at, see they're, they're playing Smiley the way they would have played Kaysen. They're just falling right into the middle. Right with a nice move, and he gets fouled. Shane Hawkins will pick up the personal. Take a look right inside now. C25 there, Timberlake. He's coming out. He pops out. That was good pop out right there, and a good, good reverse spin right there. There's the reach in by Hawkins. Good camera work. Caught him right in the act. See, the one thing, Tom, I played a switching man-to-man -man defense, and boy, many teams don't play it, but I played it way back in the days at Notre Dame. And boy, the, one of the more difficult things is when you're getting ready to, to, the two offensive players are getting ready to come together. If you split the middle of those two defensive players, then you try to catch them in a communications problem. That's one thing. The other thing is when Illinois State is going to screen, they're going to pop out the screener and try to catch them and confuse them in the switch. We got the same out. 15.43 left here in the first half, and the Salukis lead it by four. Both Southern teams shooting pretty well, Tom. Chad Altadonna has checked in. Yep, and they're right into his own defense right now, changing the tempo of the game right here. Carr with it on the wing. See, it's a matchup zone that they're playing, Tom. Long three, just bounces off. Kern tried to block out. Muller picked it off. Well, that's a good change after the timeout. I like that. Altadonna, a really good three-point shooter. Couldn't get that one. He may get another chance. See, there's the long rebound on the long shot, and Southern didn't react to it. Smiley from three, and that's one that if he can hit will make a huge difference for this team. How about Carr with the athletic move? Coming down with a rebound and pass all at the same time. Hawkins goes inside on top. Here's Carr. He'll stop, take the 15-footer, and that did everything but go in. Oh, nice work by Timberlake. Inside, oh. Timmons with the lay-in. Boy, two great plays. I mean, that is not only a great reaction to the glass and a nice pass and a good cut to the basket. Terrific execution. Marcus Franklin just checked in with the pass. Altadonna pops out. Inside, Franklin lost it and a foul call. 
That's pretty good execution by Illinois State right there. Not sure I know what they did on that sequence, Tom, but boy, they caused a lot of problems on the switching for Southern Illinois right there. They had a couple of guys wide open in the paint, and that's unusual. Watch Timberlake now. Watch this. The one hand, he didn't get up. He didn't have a chance to get it. See, he flicked it right out, to, out of Altadonna's hand. Now watch the cut to the basket. Boy, that's what you call seeing the floor. That is really terrific. Stewart and Tucker have checked in for Southern. As Franklin's first bounces off, and Illinois State not a ball club that can yeah. afford to get behind by very much that, that early. They're well, they can't afford to miss the free ones at the line, Tom, and they're only shooting 69% at the free throw line. He splits those two. Now Southern's got a lot more quickness in there with Trotter and with Tucker in the game right now, and Stewart can really shoot. They better get in his numbers. They're going to stay right in that zone. It's a 2-3 and sometimes looks like a 1-1-3, one, one, but they match out of it. Good ball movement and, so yeah, far. Good ball movement, and boy, I'll tell you what, good player movement on, on the part of Illinois State. That's just what you talked about as uh -huh. it will drop Whoa. for Ian Stewart. 15 to 7 now, and a walk. Can I tell you something about that young man? He has more points and rebounds this year than he had in his entire career. How about that? He had only taken, he's made seven three point shots. That's his eighth. He had only taken seven his entire career and had made one. Now, that's when you're living right, I think. <laughs> That never happened to you, right? No, I had no trouble with that three-point line. I never missed one from out there. Picked up his dribble. Stewart will come out and give some relief. Great work by Stewart to come out. He had picked up his dribble, and he came right out to help him. And a holding call away from the ball. And Kenny Wright will pick up the personal. Rich Heron trying to get his ball club. Rolling here. Get it right back to Timmons. Inside, kicks it out. Wide open three. What a rebound by Carr. Boy, is that great quickness. Oh, man. He read that perfectly and brings it out. Now wants the play. Down low, Timmons. Fadeaway jumper comes up short. Rebound fought for. Inside, takes it to the basket and laid it in. Paul Lust with a bucket. That's why I admire the guy. He is really in a slump shooting-wise, but look at all the little things he's doing. Nice cut to the basket. Kern with the nice back cut puts it up. 17-9 to nine now. Saluki's with the lead. Out of the zone now and back into the man-to-man -man time on this possession. Inside Timmons again. Here comes out to Dunn, and the crowd wanted either a foul or a travel call, but not many of them here wanted to travel. If I could move that official, I'd be having a much better time. I know. Inside, Wright got bumped, but still puts it in. Good, strong move by Kenny Wright. I want to tell you, Illinois State is running a really nice-looking offense right now. They're being patient. They're getting some touches. They're trying to break down that defense, and they're getting some high-percentage shots. Quick move inside. Good strip by Smiley. Great quick hands, and he avoids the defender. Got tripped up. Now looks to get it away, and finally does. Bounce inside. The 12-footer rings in. Do you think, isn't that one of the toughest shots in the world to yep. make time when you're that close and you don't know whether to do that or get it off the glass? That's pretty good. Franklin handled that very well, and it's a four-point Southern lead. <laughs> Illinois State with... Four players ready to check in. Kevin Stallings plays a lot of people. Down low, Timmons with the one bounce, puts it off the glass, and a foul called on Kern. Very tough, and there's just no way that they are going to be able to guard Marcus Timmons if they allow him to post up that far down, Tom. And, you know, they talk about the coach, Ray Meyer, saying don't give a man position there, and if you do, the next thing is don't ever give him the basketball because I assume that the offensive player is going to win, what, eight or ten times, oh, eight, yeah. eight out of ten times. That is especially a guy that has the remarkable ability that Marcus Timmons does. He is really difficult to guard. Brian Kern was dead behind him, and they did what they should have done. They pounded the ball right inside to him. Uh, David Kaysen among those who has checked in for Illinois State, and 
Kaysen, the leading assist man in the Missouri Valley, but one thing he doesn't do, Jim, he doesn't shoot the ball very much. Yeah, he doesn't. His turnover to assist ratio is absolutely spectacular. 120 to 41, if you can believe it. That is triple. Double is really good. That young man is triple, which is spectacular. And this is his kind of a game, Tom. He is best in an up-and-down kind of basketball game. And that's how Southern likes it. With 11 minutes and 43 seconds remaining in the first half, the Salukis lead it by six. Here's Kaysen. Both teams shoot, still shooting well now, Tom. 56 for Illinois State and 50 for Southern. Kaysen with it on the dribble. Southern playing the passing lanes mm -hmm. very well. Muller has to pop out. Another substitution. There's Rob Gibbons who's in the ball game. We got to ask the obvious question, right? <laughs> right. Here's I told him he better have a good game. I told him. <laughs> Trotter makes the move inside, and it just would not fall. Chris Carr brings it down the floor and hands it back, and now Southern will get things rolling. Long three. Did I tell you you could shoot, yep. or did I tell you you could shoot? Boy, he can really shoot. And a young man that wasn't even going to continue to play had lost all his confidence. Kaysen had it knocked away, gets it to Altadonna. Gibbons in the lane, high anchor, and it goes. Wow. They're, they're, they're yelling at the Jersey Shore right now because he said that's where they're watching the game. 22-15, <laughs> Salukis with the lead. Hawkins comes off the screen. Gives it back to Carr. Now Muller guards him. This is a good matchup for Muller. One he can learn with. Another three. That one a little too long. But guess what? Carr right there with the spin and hits. Boy, you've got to you've got to hold them to one shot. You just can't give them those second and third efforts because they're they're too talented offensively. Comes inside, tries to pass it off, and that's just what they're playing for, and a great save by Carr. And Stewart brings it down the floor, gives it back. Carr, and a foul call. Trotter called for a hold. Pretty good move to the basket by Carr right there, Tom. I wasn't quite sure what the what the call was because it was a late call, and I was really surprised, but he got him for the hole. But a pretty good first step to that basket, and he had the defensive player right back on his heels. Brzezinski checks out. Timberlake comes back in. And body's going down. Now Southern will get things rolling. Carr really works for that oh, shot. Boy. Hawkins goes down low. Timberlake looks for the cutter. Now kicks it on top. Stewart another three. That's tough to match up against. Absolutely. He's got such long range, yep. Jimmy. And, and especially when you can move out on the floor like that. A guy that's that big and can move, move out on the floor and do those kinds of things. He's 6'8". Trying to answer with the three. Muller right there. Puts it up and he's fouled. That's pretty good action by their leading rebounder. He, he got himself right in a position on the right side of that glass, Tom, to put himself in a position to get that rebound. And this was a big possession, I thought, for, for the Redbirds. They're 27-15 right now. Two or three three-pointers have really started to bury him. But you can't lose your composure. You've just got to stay in your game plan and just keep picking away. So Muller gets a couple here. Boy, it's nice to see young kids in the league like this. You know, a kid who comes in, does such a great job in the classroom, such a nice oh, player. Oh, a 4 0 student. I mean, that, that's absolutely amazing. That's your real definition of a student athlete. Again, the full court pressure. Nice ISU double team. And a foul on Gibbons. And I tell you what, that could have gone either way. Lost, turned, and. Chad Altadonna went down, and Altadonna now talking to Gibbons, saying, just go straight up. A lot of, now there's the, the, they give him the pass, and there's the trap right now. A lot of times, Tom, the, the contacts to Forts there is on the, the offensive player. Down the floor, and Altadonna called for an intentional foul as Lust went up. Chad uh, Altadonna saying, hey, I didn't mean to hurt him. I wasn't trying to. 
Kevin Stallings is trying to give his interpretation of what he did by trying to come across the arm just to stop him from shooting the ball. But boy, there's another big turnaround right there. I'm going back to the double team down in the corner because when someone is double teamed, if contact occurs, they say that the responsibility rests with the guy with the ball. And I think that's what you were implying yep. about the replay. Now at this end, you've got Lux down here going for the two and then the ball out of bounds and that's going to be a big turnaround. 28 to 17 now Saluki's with the lead as Kern will check back in. There's a guy who used to be a terrific free throw shooter. And he's only shooting 64 percent coming into the year. And I think he's questioning some things right now. Oh, he's, he's wondering you can tell why by looking it's at not him. working. Exactly. Yep. But nobody they told me nobody wants to win more than that young man does and he's doing all and that's what I say to young players if you're not shooting well and you're not scoring do all the other things look at that oh. pass and he couldn't quite get it now here comes Trotter the other end of the floor with a left hand and that was a little out of control and Timmons falls down out of bounds it'll belong to Illinois State A lot of fans might be calling for the technical on the oh, other end as he but, was but hanging it out wasn't. the rim. It, but it, now, you're going to watch this, Tom, and I'm going to tell you why it isn't, because that's the one time a player can hang is if somebody is underneath you and yep. you're stopping yourself from taking a chance on injury, and that is not a technical, and that's a good no call. That's right. Cooper has checked into the ball game. Good shooter, gets it inside. Nice pass right off the glass, and that's what ISU's got to do. Mm -hmm. They can't come back and try and get this all at once. It's right. only 28-19. A couple stops, and a guy like Cooper right. who can really shoot it from the outside can get you right back in the and game. The big thing you said is a couple of stops. You've got to turn it up at the defensive end, and you got to block out and don't give him a second chance. Hawkins, and here could be one of them. Trotter will bring it up for the Redbirds of Illinois State. Burn on top. Now he can shoot it from out there. Inside right with a strong move goes right to the basket. And the official says keep playing. Yep. Hey, listen, he had a big game against Bradley. He was seven of nine. Five rebounds in 18 minutes. That's it. They kicked that ball right into him and he was in good position. He's got good body movement. That's good execution. Stewart goes on top, finds Hawkins. Looking for Timmons down low. Instead, they go to Lusk. And the thing you've really got to be careful of with SIU is they've got so many weapons outside that when Timmons is in, here's another three and count it for Paul Lusk. But with so many weapons out there, you can't you can't sag back on it. Sure. Them. And the more you spread the floor, then you're giving guys like Timmons, I mean uh, Marcus Timmons, yeah, and uh, Carr a chance to operate inside. Here comes Timmons, brings it down, puts it up, couldn't get it. Kern with a rebound. And that's where they want the ball to go. Every time they want to get it to their point guard. On top, Kern, he'll take the three. Yes, sir, and he can hit it from there. We got a couple of big men that really are better facing the basket than posting up inside, and he happens to be one of them. Stewart's another one. Kern, 6'9", 231 from Vandalia. He's a senior. It's out it comes. Here's another three. And little Cooper with a rebound. How about this guy? Antonio Cooper, 5'9", 170, is a foul call going down the floor. See, Lusk is really upset because he did get hit when he released that last shot, and they didn't get it. He doesn't say much, but he knew he was in the right there, and that's why the, he went right up to the official after the play was stopped. And we got a timeout on the floor. Six minutes, 56 seconds remain. It's raining threes here at SIU Arena. Talking a little bit about defense, what they're going to uh -huh. do. SIU, as you said, Tom, 5 of 10 from three-point range. That's the difference in this game right now. Both teams shooting well. Illinois State 60%. Southern is at 48. He's got to take that. That's your shooter, right? That's it. That's <laughs> Antonio Cooper. Before the game, he came up to me and said, hey, thanks for the things you've been saying about me. He can flat oh, fill it up. man. He is a zone buster. That is his one job, boy. And if he gets a look, he's going to hit it. Tucker goes on top, finds Timmons, bounces to Carr. Boy, I want to tell you, Mueller is doing a pretty good job on Chris Carr at the time. I mean, he's been playing pretty well. There's the double up right there. Exactly what Brian Kern should have done. As soon as the ball went in, he ran right at Carr. 
But I think you see in the replay mm -hmm. that he brings his arm down yep. instead of going straight up. If he'd have stayed right there with the big arms up because he's at 6'8 or 6'9, wouldn't have had any problem right there. See, he ran at him. They almost triple teamed him right there. But see, he put the body on him and the hands came down. And, you know, even if the official isn't quite sure, once the hands come down, you've got problems. It's a done deal. It, it is. It's all over. So Carr gets a couple free throws here. There's an 80% shooter at the line. 84 of 105 coming in. And for a team, they're they're only shooting 69 or 67% at the free throw line, Tom. So neither team burning it up. Talk about Carr. How about the rebounds already as he's yep. matched that with the points? Yep. A little full court token pressure now. Smiley gets it across on the pass to Muller. Baseline Cooper made the fake inside. Kern fakes, puts it up. Nice reverse layup, but he's fouled. Pretty good job by that big guy. I thought he was going to make a mistake because he caught it right underneath the basket on this strong side, Tom, and I thought, and they had him buried underneath the basket. Now, look at If he came in, now the responsibility was going to be his, but he gave him the good head and shoulder fake and came up the other side, which was smart. Otherwise, he would have gotten that ball blocked. And I think you make a good point in that head and shoulder and the ball and the whole mm -hmm. bit because you've got to sell a fake. That's what yep. a lot of kids don't do. They give you the little head nod, and that just doesn't get he it did. done. you got to show them the ball or nobody's going to buy it. Kern. It's that, and it's 33 to 29 now, a four-point game. They're just kind of hanging six. around, aren't that they? They are. Huh? Get it back out on top. Nice move at the free throw lane. Couldn't get it. Rebound. Tap. Current. Strong to pull it away. Down the floor. Franklin inside. Headed blocked from behind by Timmons. Carr avoids the double. Nice pass. No look down low. Drop it home by Tucker. Remember that play, Tom. And Tucker almost got the steal at the other end. What great effort Whoa. as he dove after the ball and tapped yep. it out of bounds. That block at the other end turned out to be a four-point play. The two down there and the two at the other end, boy, and that turned it around in a hurry. Illinois State needs a bucket now and a foul as he ran into Kern. And the crowd's mad at Kern, but I tell you what, that's where your teammate has got to help you and tell you that screen is coming. Well, you don't like to see it happen, but there's nothing illegal about it. He was stationary. He did not move into the man. If you come up from behind a guy, you've got to give him room to make a movement, but not in that particular case. And Tucker just ran himself right in, but there wasn't anybody close enough to tell him to be careful. That's the one thing about communicating on defense is you, what you're talking about. You've got to tell him, especially yep. a big guy like Kern. We talked about him. 6'9", 230. Yep. That's a wake-up call, isn't it? Oh. Tucker's going out right now. Hawkins comes back in. Here comes Ian Stewart back in. That'll take the cobwebs out if he didn't have oh. a nice night's sleep. <laughs> Kern, seven points, three rebounds. Front end of the one-and-one. One. Wow, does he get up. Carr just flat one over everybody to pull in that rebound. Now brings it down, gives it back. Timmons with Kern on him. That's good help. Good that help was by, by Mueller. Mueller. You oh, bet. Boy. Hawkins goes baseline. Stewart, tough three. And he gets his offensive rebound, makes the move inside, clears him out, and puts it in. You love a guy that goes <laughs> to get his own rebound, yes, don't sir. you? Smiley comes down, gets it inside in the lane, drops it home. Nice bucket by Marcus Franklin. And I tell you, Illinois State's playing a little bit of the up-tempo game, and they're hanging right in, down well, by Mull six. Muller, didn't he do a nice job on oh, the, the help, help out there yep. on, on, on Marcus Timmons? Baseline move, give it back, and Kern comes up with it. The big guys gives it back. Franklin inside, put it up, couldn't get the bucket, but the foul call on Ian Stewart. 
Pretty good transition when your big 6'9 guy has got the ball out there trying to dribble it and pass it. But he did the exact thing. He did what he had to do because, look, they've got a two-on-one right there, Tom. Now, he, he didn't turn until now. You know, he didn't have the ball under control, so he waited a little too long. And then, of course, the big guy going to the line didn't see that Dan Muller was coming right behind him, or I'm sure Franklin would have given, Marcus would have given up the ball. But he did the right thing. He got it up on the glass because they had the numbers. Even if he missed, Muller and uh, the other guy were coming right down there. Right there, yep, mm -hmm. absolutely. But that's where when your center dribbles it two or three times, you say, let me ask you something. Why are you dribbling that ball? Yeah, don't they? Yeah, but you know, they all want to be guards, right? Oh, you know I, that. I know it. I know it. <laughs> Thirty-seven, thirty-two. The thing I like about it is both teams are really shooting well. Chad Altadonna will check in. Look for today's Rawlings play of the game later in today's telecast. The winning shot, a big rebound, a key defensive move. We'll show it to you on the Rawlings play of the game. 37-33. Now a four-point game. Hawkins brings it across the timeline to the wing. Kaysen right there defensively. They're going to stay right in that man-to-man. -man. Stewart's got 11 so far off the bench. Back for another three. Wow, Shane Hawkins with three more. We talked about their inside game and how strong they were, but the threes have been just huge so well, he, far. He's, he hit six of eight three-pointers in the second half against Evansville, so that's no accident. That young man can shoot. Trotter looks for the open man, gives it back Kaysen. They didn't even guard Kaysen outside. Mm. Down low inside, and Gibbons drops it in. And that's what Kaysen can do. He gets it to you in a position where you can score, and yep. again, we got a five-point game. I tell you, I really like what Illinois State is doing offensively. Lob pass inside. Timberlake got pumped. Baseline jump shot. Turn around. Wouldn't stay down. And a foul on Carr. Carr came over the back and he'll pick up the personal. Boy, you watch how Southern goes to that glass. Tom, if they get the ball reversed, that's the important thing for them. See, they they're the one thing they told me is we have to get that ball reversed because it really helps us in terms of rebounding. But if the ball stays on the same side of the floor, that's not good for us. And you could see a little example of it right there. Carr with three personal fouls has to sit down. Here comes Timmons back in. Kern comes in. Gibbons will come out. Kevin Stallings, I would think, has got to be pretty pleased with what his ball club's done so far. For the first 17 minutes, if they just sustain it, boy, they can't, you know, they can't get in double digits before halftime. Boy, that's two one and ones they've missed in a row. And that's the other thing you got to do. When you're on the road, if you don't make your free throws, you're in some trouble. Hawkins across the timeline. Out to Donna right there defensively. The shot wouldn't go. And look at the blockout by Illinois State. And a foul called on Stewart. And we got somebody down. Is that Trotter that's it down? It's just number three, Maurice Trotter. Uh huh. They, Boy. The, the thing I love here, watch the blockout here, Coach Gibbons. That's exactly what I was going to say, Tom. Illinois State is really getting bodies into the white shirts. Now watch. Watch the body work if we can get it down below a little bit better. Look at, look at, look at the box out right there. Just Kern riding them right out of bounds. Now you'll see the push off right there. They have really been... Now, it's really tough when you've got a car and a Timmons going up on that glass because they have such jumping ability and such quickness, Tom, that boy, they scoop by you before you can get a check into them. Trotter makes it a four-point game. There's Stahl, Coach Stallings and his crew. Maurice Trotter hits them both. And we've got a timeout here at SIU Arena, and all of a sudden, and Illinois State coming back, trails it by just three. It's part of this game. Six of 11, Jim, for Southern. Boy. Well, that's the big difference. We said it earlier. You're only talking about three points right there, but you're talking about a big swing on three-point shooting. You know, it's a double-edged sword, as we all know. Oh, yeah. You're hitting them, it's great. If you're not, you can get buried. Hawkins brings it up. Very aggressive double team. The trap at the half-court stripe, and Stewart comes over to help out. That's a freshman mistake, right? You never pick up your dribble right near the 10-second line because now you got a third defender right there with the 10-second line. And boy, Southern, I mean, the Illinois State came right after him. 
Timmons inside with the left hand. Did you see that? He got caught in traffic. Timmons puts it up with the opposite hand and almost got it to roll Well, we in. talked about that last night, didn't we, at dinner? Because this young man, and I know people will wonder what's going on. I watched him at practice yesterday, and he was shooting some three-point shots from three-point range. So that's no accident that he's using that. The other thing I want the viewers to watch is when Timmons is cutting into the post and getting the ball, Illinois State is running not only two, but that time a third man right at him, which is exactly what they should do. You've got to give that, you have to get that guy to give up the ball, Tom. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, they may hit some three-pointers on you, but it's, you know, it's one or the other. You're going to die by one or the other, but I think your chances are better of running at him. Couldn't get either one, and now a three ties this. See if they take their time. See if they take Nice going. They see they there was it, Tom. They caught him right in between the switch. Boy, that was great recognition. Denying the passing lanes just a little bit and a nice pass by the freshman. Boy, that was really terrific. We got a one-point game here at SIU Arena. Timmons wants to make the move, pushes off, puts it up, couldn't get it. Muller with a rebound, bounces it out. And now the Redbirds can take the lead. Moves in, finds Altadonna on top for Kern, inside. Muller got fouled. And I like what Re oh. what Kevin Stallings has got his ball club doing now. They're making cuts to the basket. They got the man on the top looking for the cutter, and they're finding him open. Absolutely. You know, there's a club that lost six of its seven top scorers last year. Now uh, watch the ball move. See, there's the switch right there. That's good recognition right there. But they lost six of their seven top scorers, and six of their ten scholarship people, as you said, Tom, are brand new. It, you knew it was going to take a long yep. time for them to pick up his system. Both offensively and defensively because the guy's been with Gene Cady. He's been with Roy Williams. You know darn well that guy knows how to coach and teach basketball. And, you know, that's why I say, boy, tournament time, look out. This team's going to get better and oh, better and better. that's one of those you aren't going to want to see. That's right. Unless you're a fan. 10-2 to two run by Illinois State in the last 2.30. And this is their first lead of the game, 41-40, to 40, and now it's a 12-2 to 2 after the free throws. And again, that half-court pressure, and Muller was almost there to pick that one off. Timberlake, long jumper off. Rebound Stewart inside. Boy, has he played a great game off the bench. Redbirds come right back down. Kern goes back door on top. Trotter gives it back. Altadonna. On top for Boy, I'll tell you what, this is good defense boy. right now by Southern. It's they are really defense. playing well. Do I like what do I like what Illinois State is doing? And let me tell you why, Tom. You know that the crowd started to get back in the game. The Salukis went up. Stewart got them going on the way back down the floor. Now, my mentality tells me I'm going to burn some time off that clock because I know they're getting antsy now. They don't want to be behind at halftime. And that's exactly what Illinois State did, and I thought it was terrific patience and good judgment. Kern gets a little break as Gibbons comes back in and Trotter goes to the line. Coming up at halftime, Jim Hart, athletic director here at Southern Illinois, will stop by. We'll visit with him. Also get you up to date with some of the highlights from the first half. Stats, leading scores, no bet. So keep it right here. I suspect they've got their typical balanced scoring. I haven't seen the scoring sheet, Tom, but I'll bet you they've got that same kind of balanced scoring that they've been having all along, which makes them tough to defend. You and I questioned whether Illinois State could come from behind, and they have so far. Stewart on the right side, on the baseline with Altadonna on him. Hawkins on top. Timberlake wants to make the move. Got Gibbons in the air. Gives it back. Stewart, tough three. Wow. Side. Miller had it knocked away. Baseline three. Couldn't get it. And a quick shot that just wouldn't fall for ISU. And that's something they'd stayed away from for a long time. And boy, they're generally getting just one shot at the basket because, boy, SIU can really rebound that glass. Comes up short. Muller right there for the rebound. And now look at Kevin Stallings gets up and says, slow it down, guys. Slow it down. They got a chance to go up at halftime. 
Shot clock, game clock, just about the same. Now they're going to a 1-4, I suspect, like most everybody else does. Now, the one thing they aren't going to do is guard the guy with the ball. That right. I can tell you. Shane now, Hawkins, uh -huh. now they switch. Nice switch right there because they put Hawkins over on Trotter. Long two. Goes in. That's a two. Two seconds. One second from half court. Well, I'll tell you what, he'd hit everything else in the first half. I wouldn't have been surprised if that had gone. We got a great one going here at SIU Arena. We've into that 12 to 2 run and got themselves right back in a position to be where they are right now. All right, coach, show me some of your highlights now. What'd you pick out? Well, I'm going to tell you, we got three pretty good ones right here. And the first one you're going to take a look at is the guy that has 17 points right now, Ian Stewart. 17 points. It's a career, no, 16, I'm sorry, a career high. His previous was 15, which was was also this year and the unbelievable thing about it is both of those times he came off of the bench to score that way now we're going to see where we got now you're going to see Dan Muller up at the top of the key right here look at the switching that's going on down here for Southern they caught him right in between the switch there boy that is perfect recognition inside to Brian Kern very good execution now Marcus Timmons he's going to take a shot here Tom and he's going to miss most people stand around and become ball watchers watch Timberlake come up this is the one we we talked about got the slap right there he comes out with the basketball watch the cut to the basket by Timmons good execution he saw him got it to him at the right time and Timmons converted now let's talk about the second half here for just a second what do you expect Southern Illinois to do because Illinois State did make a nice run and really has the momentum right now as we went into halftime I think the southern the thing that Southern has to do Tom and I saw it here Thursday night when I was at the game here Drake had them back on their heels for the first 20 minutes and boy I want to tell you Southern came out and went on about a 27 to something run and blistered I mean that's they blistered Drake the first five minutes of this half and I know how trite that is it is absolutely critical right now for Illinois State I think they've got to stay in their game plan they've got to keep executing but I think Southern has to turn it up a notch or two because they're not getting an off they're not getting as much as they should be out of their offense I think they've got to turn it up a notch defensively and they've got to play with just a little more intensity all right we are tied at halftime at 45 apiece for Southern Illinois and Illinois State we'll come back give you first half stats leading scores and then get ready to tip it off in the second half. Welcome back. Halftime here at SIU Arena as the Salukis and Redbirds are tied at 45. Let's see how they got there, first of all, with our stats. And the interesting thing here is Southern took 35 shots to 22 for Illinois State, but the Redbirds make 14 <laughs> compared to 16. So, I mean, that that's where that is a big difference. Yeah. Three-point field goals, huge. Seven yeah. of 12 for SIU, just two of five for Illinois State. Rebounds the same. Great job handling the basketball for both teams. And bench scoring 18 to 14 as they got a huge first half from Stewart did Southern Illinois. Now our first half scoring and you see Trotter with 10. Kern with nine, Wright with eight. Stewart off the bench with 16 of Southern <laughs> Illinois points. Lusk had eight, and Timmons had seven. And, you know, you and I talked about several things at halftime. The three-pointers a big difference. Free throws also you played bet. a big part in the first half. Even though Illinois State missed a couple of one-on-ones, Tom, they are 15 of 18. And, you know, you've heard enough coaches say the team that gets to the line the most is generally going right. to win. That is a good sign. SIU is only six of 11. So so there's there's a long way to go yet and we're starting with that long road here in the second half Illinois State looking for what would be an immense road win Miller for three nope rebound tapped out smiley will get it that is good judgment that is good the first possession I think is really important I think they ought to burn some time you know Southern's really upset now they're going to come out and really try to turn it up a notch great pass uh -huh. inside to Kern looked like Smiley was going to shoot it everybody got ready for the rebound Kern waited and the crowd is always here up and applauding waiting for their team to score for the first time in the half car on the wing remember he's got three fouls down low quick turnaround just came off and a rebound follow counted for Stewart and he'll go to the line boy that young man is playing as good a basketball as I have ever seen him play and I you know what I like about him you watch he is playing with so much heart and so much desire you watch now look at him he wasn't anywhere in that picture when that ball went up in the glass and Tom 
there was no reason for him to suspect his guy was going to miss that crib shot right underneath. So if he wanted to just stand back and go back and play a little defense, no. He went right to the glass, and now he's on there for a three-point attempt. Smiley there for the rebound, and we're right where we were at the start of the game and at halftime as we're tied. Smiley tried to penetrate. Hawkins cut him off. Trotter goes on top to right. Down low, Kern. He had a nice first half, got the first bucket of the second half. Muller for three, wide open, and he drains it. I think he only had one shot in the first half, Tom, but his job was to defend on Carr, and he did. That's two shots already in the first couple of minutes in the second half. And he didn't let it get him down. Nope, it didn't, he didn't bother him. It didn't cost him at the other end. And for a lot of guys, not getting but one shot would be a problem. A three from the baseline. Hawkins hits, and Southern starts the second half just the way they went all first half. Trotter. They're going to look for Kern, it looks like now. Get the cutters going to the basket. On top, Trotter open from 16. Kern came over the back, tipped it out. Did you see Trotter pop out? He was wide open when he popped out when they switched. Trotter almost lost it, got a good pass, now picks it up on the sideline. Back to Smiley. Bounce right down low for the big jam. Kenny right with the bucket. Soon as they put the trap on in the corner and they got the pass out, they had the numbers, and boy, was that good recognition by Smiley. Hawkins goes on top, finds Timmons. 52-50, Redbirds with a lead. Rebound tapped by Carr a couple times. Finally, Kern comes up to take it. Smiley, look down low, finds Muller. Up on top, Smiley. Smiley, long thought, takes the three. Rebound pulled down by Timmons. And Kern saying that he's tired. Gibbons will get up off the bench. Timmons down low, throws it up to the left hand, couldn't get it. Rebound pulled down by Trotter. Now he's double teamed and almost lost it, but gets it back. Furious intensity here to start the second half. Or finds right. They leave him open, runs into Timmons, didn't get the bucket, but he'll go to the line. Boy, that is pretty good recognition right there by Wright. Kenny was almost going to pass that ball because they were lose, using a little bit of the high-low there, Tom. And as soon as he saw he had a chance to put the ball on the floor and make that drive, he went right for it. Now, you look at the three substitutions here by Kevin Stallings. Getting some fresh legs in there, some fresh bodies. You know, he said it's really tough for teams to defend us. You know, he said it's hard to know who to guard when you're playing us. He said, I don't even know where the points are going to come from, you know, on a nightly basis, and you don't. Wright misses the first. He's got one more. Carr came out there talking to him over on the sideline. They've got to be careful. He's got three fouls. Wright trying to get at least a split. Oh, and it did everything but go in. Hawkins there for the rebound. We'll bring it up. Timmons for a quick three. There it is. That is his eighth in a row. Kaysen picks up the dribble, finds Trotter. Double team, looks for the opening, gets it back to Chad Altadonna. Trotter goes baseline and he walked. He wanted to go left and then thought about going right. We got substitutions. Cooper and Franklin will check in. The one thing that Illinois State has to do, Tom, is they have to stay patient. They just can't start hurrying, and I thought Smiley was going to do that a couple of times. you got to break down that defense, which they were doing superbly in the first half. No use hurrying and changing your game plan. SIU leads it by one. Down low, Timmons turn around in the lane, and he's got five points yeah. in a row. And he puts his team back up 55 to 52. Altadonna, a baseline two, and he drains that. Chad Altadonna with the baseline jump shot. And it's back to a one point SIU lead. In 
inside and a pushing foul on Gibbons. Timmons got it inside. And one thing you mentioned in the first half, you can't just let them get the position whenever they want it, wherever they want. No way. It's just it's just too tough to defend in that kind. Look at and, and that's exactly Stewart got him the ball right there where he should have gotten him the ball. There's no way that he that Gibbons is going to be able to guard Marcus Timmons. We got a timeout on the floor. 15 minutes, 47 seconds remain, and the Salukis lead the Redbirds by one. With his ball club, lob inside the car for the slam. He checks back in and immediately goes up for the slam. I think Rich Heron decided three fouls or no three fouls. He's a senior, and I'm going to play that. You're a junior, and I'm going to play that young man. He's got enough experience that he can take care of himself, but this is what they did to Drake the other night. Timmons and Carr really the first five minutes went crazy. And a blocking foul, an offensive foul on Gibbons. Rob Gibbons called for the block, and Kern comes back in for him. Miller will check back in as well. See, these are the little things that can happen to you, Tom. You miss a couple of free throws, which are gimmies. You've got to get something out of every possession and every opportunity when you're playing on the road and you're playing a team as talented as Southern that has such a great record on this floor. SIU with a three-point lead. Carr with it on the wing with Alta Don on him. Carr going baseline, rises up, couldn't get it. Reeve, he tapped it out and tried to save it and did. But Kaysen comes up with it on the other end. What a layup by Kaysen. Shane Hawkins did a great job trying to save it. Almost ended up in Jim Gimmons' lap. <laughs> oh, man. And oh, pretty good State hustle. Oh, pretty man. good hustle. Our turnaround jumper, and he banks it home. We've got two teams playing really good basketball right now. And I just have a feeling that Carr and Timmons have turned it up a notch, Tom, and that's that's bad news for Illinois State. Altadonna fakes the three, watches the defender go by, couldn't get it, rebound tapped, and finally pulled down by Shane Hawkins. Lob pass for Timmons. They set that up. Timmons running down the floor, looked over at his guard. They made the eye contact. He ran right to the basket. They put the lob in, and Southern put a little run together now. The crowd starts to get into it. Right side, Kaysen. They're on their feet here at SIU. Shot clock at 11, at 10. On top, Kaysen. Shot clock at 7, at 6. At five, Kaysen from 15 hits a big bucket for the Redbirds. Oh. 61-58. Timmons for another three, and he drains another. Kaysen tried to draw the foul, got it to Kern at the end. Kern couldn't get it. Rebound tapped out. Timmons with a save. Car down the floor, but wait a minute. Technical foul on Kevin Stallings. Stallings with the T. Kaysen was trying to get the foul called on this end, Jim. Kern went up and fake, and he may have been fouled, then missed the bucket, and I think Kevin Stallings, uh, Kevin Stallings was frustrated. Well, we talked before the game, Tom, because he got a technical foul in the Bradley game last Wednesday, so that's back-to-back -back games with the technical foul, and boy, that, that happened at a, board, a bad point in the game right now. Things are slowly slipping away from the Redbirds, and, and Kevin knows that. And, and you, every time you think you've got something coming, obviously you want to get it. And he thought he had something coming down at the other end. Here you go. See what you think, Jim. Okay. I'll take a look at it. There's the, the, it was almost a pass right there instead of a shot. Now, there's, there's what he's talking about, the reach in right over the top by Stewart with the body at the same time. Carr misses both technicals. So I tell you what, if anything, what Stallings did, he stopped a wide open layup. <laughs> they get neither free throw, and now Timmons will trigger the inbound pass. 
Tucker across the timeline wanted to give it back and does. Lost with Trotter right there defensively. Yeah, now we've got to go right back to what you said in the first half. They've got to start defending just a little bit better. Carr couldn't get it, and what a great job blocking out again. I'm really impressed with that. Smiley just does get it. Tucker almost intercepted the pass. Quickness against quickness right there. Smiley and Tucker. Wright turns and looks and throw it away. Lost down the floor for Carr, the slam. He's going to get a time, Tom. It's getting away right now. Southern has got the crowd going, and they're playing with a lot of enthusiasm. 12-24 remains, and the Salukis lead the lead. And Boy, they like these lobs, don't they, Jim? Well, I'm telling you, they have executed this alley-oop pass about as well as you're ever going to see it executed in this game. They have not missed. They have gotten the basketball exactly where their big people have wanted it. And so, go ahead, Tom. No, no, I was just going to say Timmons with 10 in the second half has been a big key, but Carr's playing well also. And that's it for them. When that one-two punch gets rolling, they are so difficult to defend. Smiley comes off the screen, looks for the open man. And we talked earlier that they were going to have a tough time, Illinois State. Timmons called for the foul, was going for the block. Go ahead. Kevin Stallings, I just, boy, he just turned. He figured, I'm not going to say anything because I can't afford to get another one or I'm gone. But, you know, we talked about it before the game. We thought it was probably going to be almost impossible for Illinois State to match up against Timmons and Carr. Right, and right. the way they're playing right now, obviously, it is pretty difficult. When they take it to another level, which both can do, it makes it really yeah. tough. You're right about that. Franklin hits the first. 12-10 remains, 66-59. Saluki's with the lead. And he brings it back to a six-point lead, and here comes Illinois State with a full-court press. There's the trap again. Timmons right down the floor. Do a good job of doubling on that first pass. You better be ready for it and get that ball out of your hands as soon as you see that trap coming, and that's what they did. Southern handled it pretty well. Lusk gets it back, makes the three, puts up the long two, and drains it. Now, they, they burned. Oh, that's a technical foul. You'll see what happened with the tee right here, Jim. Boy, I tell you, I was looking right down that way, and I... I... Shot goes in. See, he's... Uh, right there, threw the basketball right up again, right at the basket, you know, and you know, didn't really mean anything by it. The ball happened to be coming down exactly where he was. See, what you do, obviously, is you put the offensive team at a disadvantage. You know, they can't come back up the floor if they're trying to get into transition. They can't do it. So it's a call that you hate to make, but you've got to do something yep. about it. Yep. 77% free throw shooter going to the line. And misses them both. Yep. Isn't it interesting that a freshman goes to the line to shoot yeah. the two tees? Smiley comes out. Kaysen comes in for Illinois State. It's an eight-point Saluki lead with 11.46 remaining. Boy, there was a chance to get those two and make it six, obviously, and a yeah. chance for a two or three here. All kinds of scenarios, and that's why I say you just can't afford to pass up opportunities when the clock is not running. Altadonna with it on the wing. Looks down low, finds Kern, double team. Kern with the fake, put it up, and rebound loose on the floor. Finally brought out. Here comes Rust down the other end. Wants to make the move. He got Timmons in the corner, and finally they decide to slow it down. Kern didn't do a very good job there, big guy. Right. I'm sure you agree since you were an inside player. He had the right idea, but he didn't get anything out of it. Brzezinski gives it back to Timmons. On the other side, that's Lust. Nice pass inside, stripped away. Kaysen, with Altadonna right behind him, makes the move, gets it to the corner, and gets it back. Nice oh. pass inside to Franklin. Boy, that was pretty. See, Franklin sealed that defender, and boy, he got him the pass where he wanted it, when he wanted it. That's what makes that play go. You wait one more second, and that play is not going to convert. It's a six-point SIU lead and a big possession right now. 
Timmons gets it over to Stewart. Back to Timmons, fakes the three, moves inside the runner, and it's nothing but net. Is this your first look at Timmons, Tom? Yeah. Well, you like what you're seeing, don't you? Oh. I like the fact he can put it on the oh floor and boy. make the move, I'll tell you that. Has a wonderful touch. Trotter. And it's oh, a jump a ball. Throw. What a nice play by Paul Lusk. Alternate possession oh, goes man. to SIU. What a great defensive move right there. He just grabbed right onto that. Watch that. You're not going to see many of these in a year, I'll tell you. That is spe that's spectacular. Now, the hand is part of the ball, as I say all the time, but he didn't even have the hand. That was absolutely terrific. Coming up on the halfway point of the second half, Salukis now are up by eight and have the ball. And they've got a little momentum going as well. Hawkins with Kaysen right there defensively. Look to get it back to Lusk. Now it's not loose and Kaysen picks up the foul. SIU in the second half, 11 of 16, 69% from the field. Illinois State still shooting very well, 7 of 13. But boy, when somebody shoots almost 70%, you're in some trouble. Well, you know that they shot 64% Illinois State did in the first half, and it probably isn't going to happen in the second one. Fight for the rebound, still loose on the floor. Great pass inside the car. What a play by Hawkins. Falling down, gets it to Carr for the slam. And Kern called for the push. Carr on the other end stood his ground, waited for Kern to run him over, and that's just what he did. Watch this. Nope, they, they, they've got a mismatch right here. See that, Hawkins? He spotted him right underneath. They rotated defensively and just missed their assignment right there, Tom. Now watch. That's what Rich Heron was so upset about because Carr got hit when he was coming down and Rich was all upset. Then you've got the foul at the other end. It's a 10-point SIU lead now. Looking for Timmons, who really posting up well down low. Got it. Baseline jumper. The player lost his shoe. Kenny Wright lost his shoe. And the official calls an official's timeout. Well, I want to tell you something. I know he lost his shoe, but he did the wrong thing. And you know what he did? He stopped playing, yeah. and Timmons went right down to the corner. They got Timmons the ball because watch now. Now, you got to watch. Keep watching. See, he fell down right there, and he didn't get up soon enough. The shoe was off, and he let Timmons go right to the corner. I mean, that is pretty good recognition by Southern right there. And he is on a real roll right now. He is in a rhythm that's hard to beat. Southern's got an 8-2 to two run. Last two minutes and 29 seconds. Now, the official's trying to calm things down just a little bit. Tempers are flaring yeah, to touch. Yeah, the, the emotions are coming out both sides. A lot of bodies on each other that's uh -huh. the second half of this game. I'm watching it. It's a 12-point Saluki lead as Altadonna pops out with Timmons on him, goes right to the basket, couldn't get it. Fight for the rebound, gets it to Kern, who, who did get it. Boy, that almost came out, but finally drops in. Chris Carr brings it length of the floor and the foul call. I'll tell you, he has a watch the first step, Tom. I mean, the speed and the quickness of Timmons and Carr. Watch that first step. Boy, he is practically back. Now, when you're playing defense, you don't try to keep up with that guy. You pick out a spot on the baseline and try to beat him to that spot. That's your only chance. Muller with a block that time gets it out. Kaysen had to wait for it. And they're two on three. Kaysen goes right to the basket. What a play by the little guy. David Kaysen, a six-foot senior from Baltimore, Maryland, drops it in, and it's 74-66. I like his spirit. They just keep coming back, don't they? they it's Southern almost has them put away all the time, and Illinois State just keeps coming back at them. There's another one from way out there, Tom. And a foul inside, and I think the official pointed to Lusk. Is that right? Well, no, let's see. I'm, I'm sure I thought he got it on Marcus Franklin. All he right, he we'll did see. number five. I yep. think he did for the push right underneath. The foul is called. 
Watch, he's up against Timmons. Now you got to get a body into him. Let's see if we can continue down here. There it's going up. That, oh, there's not much doubt about that. All he had to do was keep his arms off of him, get his body into him, and ride him right away from the angle the ball was coming out on. But, you know, that's all instinct, Tom, as you know. So you can't fault somebody for that. And the start of it is the block out. Sure, exactly. Marcus Franklin had the right idea. He had himself in position, but he just didn't execute the way he should have. Timmons hits the first and he'll get one more. 75-66. Redbirds made a little run, Jim, mm. and now Southern comes back yep. and gets the first free throw and tries to answer this right away. Here's a guy that's shooting 57 from the floor and 55 from the line, only 51% at the free throw line, believe it or not. He made both of those, puts it back to a 10-point lead as Kaysen got fouled. Got their feet tangled up and Tucker will pick up the foul. He looks over at you and shakes his head and smiles. Yep. That's what I used to do when I was officiating. You know, the coaches would yell at me about the discrepancy in the fouls, and I'd just say, I, I, I call them. I don't count them. Butler will trigger the inbound pass. It's a 10-point lead now. Fouls in the second half. Illinois State with seven, Southern with three. So that would be what... Kevin Stallings would be talking to the officials about right now. Altadonna puts up a three. He got a nice screen, and Chad Altadonna hits a good three-pointer for his team. Hawkins brings it down the floor against Kaysen. Into the corner, and Chad Altadonna called for the hole. You, you were right about the contact because you noticed that they're calling it just a little bit. At least I sense they're calling it a little, a little closer the last two or three minutes. Ian Stewart checks back in as Timmons will sit. This is where you better know the people you're defending, Tom, when people are running people in and out, especially if you're playing a man-to-man -man because sometimes you can get confused and lose the person that you're supposed to be guarding. When you're playing the switching man-to-man, -man, it makes it a little bit easier on you. Front end and Kaysen right there for the rebound again. You like a guy with heart, don't oh, you? Boy. Muller gets it out to Kern on top. Franklin. Hey. Illinois State needs a good possession now. See? They need a basket. Yep. Franklin's not a scorer, and boy, Stewart is standing in the three second lane just blocking up everything. Franklin got bumped by Stewart. Fans don't like it. That's a good call. Franklin going to the basket, got bumped. Did a, did a very smart thing there. The kid has been playing well, and he's playing harder, and he, you know, he just wasn't playing on a consistent basis for a while. Watch now. Look at where Stewart is. He's now, now he comes out at him, and Franklin did the exact right thing, Tom. When the defensive player comes out at you, you have to make your move. Seven minutes, 31 seconds left, and the Redbirds are hanging on. They trail the Saluki 76. I am on this regional sports network. Illinois State with a big possession now. Bounces it inside. Franklin fakes. Put it in. Big bucket for Franklin on the baseline. It's back to a five-point game, Jim. And Illinois State mm -hmm. in the first half and the second half has withstood a Southern rally. That's where Franklin can play. Inside with his back to the basket. And that's why I'm glad to say, oh, why did he do that? Franklin with the push, and he looked at Timmons as if Timmons had done something. From our angle, I didn't see it, but he was really upset with Timmons. How could you possibly do that at this stage of the basketball game? He was playing straight up square, man-to-man -man defense. Look at now, he's got no problem right here. But nothing, nothing going on. Little body right there, but I don't understand why he did yeah. that, Tommy. He's going to put the guy at the line now, and every possession, obviously, is important with seven minutes left. Well, it ends up being a good foul because he didn't make the free throw, and it's a five-point Southern lead. Altadonna goes down low. Muller, fadeaway jumper, and it's a big bucket for Illinois State. 76-73 now. You know, people say, well, you're cheering for Illinois State. You and I want to see a good game, oh, close game. That's listen, all we want to see, and we're seeing that right now. And I'm into this basketball game. No intention on my part in anything. That's a bad shot right there. Altadonna with the rebound, and now Illinois State can cut it to one. Kaysen wanted the basketball. The senior point guard came over to get it, and we got a foul. 
See if Ian Stewart's called for the push. And that's one of the few bad shots that Paul Lusk has taken today. He was squared up on most of the others, Tom, but he was falling to his right. He was off balance and threw a line, dive, a line drive shot right at the basket, and that's what you call him not getting much out of a possession. Redbirds with an 11 to 2 run. Stewart comes out with his fourth personal. He had a big first half. Has been kind of quiet here in the second. 6.29 remains in a three-point SIU lead. Kern gives it on top to Kaysen. Back right pass inside. Muller puts it in. Kaysen just threaded the needle again. It is a one-point game here at SIU. That's another time they caught the switching defense and put the ball right there when they needed it. Rich Heron Saluki's now looking for an answer to this run. Carr with it on the wing. He can answer any run anywhere. On the baseline, fades and hits. Could not play defense any better than Muller played on him that time. He was with him every step of the way. Muller on the wing, gets it on top to Kern. Good ball movement by Illinois State. Muller was open on this side. Carr came over to cut him off. Coming up on five and a half remaining. Boy, they really sag off Kaysen. Muller for three. Oh, what a huge three by the freshman. And Jim Gibbons were tied here again at 78. Carr in the lane. Comes right back and answers. They got to start helping a, a little bit on him, Tom. They've got to force him to give up the basketball and let somebody else hurt him. Altadonna bounces it inside. Franklin is pushed. Timberlake called for the push. Pretty tough pass to handle, wouldn't you say? Yeah, down at your ankles, I was surprised yep. he was able to get it, but he did. Picked it up, had the presence of mind to do something with it after he picked it up. Muller Trotter was, comes in what? Yeah. Oh, last seven points for Muller. Boy, is that something for a freshman? And he's going to get a break mm -hmm. now. Trotter back in. Inside Kern with a quick pass from Altadonna. And again, all that is is recognition. They look into the other player's eyes like, yep, it's here. He isn't paying attention. Just caught Southern standing flat-footed and passed the ball right into him. Kern pretended like he wasn't even in the offense. Timmons gives it back. Hawkins was looking for the shot on top. Stewart. Interesting matchup, right? Altadonna guarding Carr. Baseline three. Couldn't get it. Rebound fought for. And he walked. Traveling called. Kevin Stalling thought there might have been a push. You could see that coming. I knew he was going to the floor, and I knew it was going to be a travel. Good position, just lost his balance. Now, we'll see if Stewart continues to hit those threes, Tom, because it's late in the game, and the legs may be a little tired. You don't get as much into the shot. See the turnovers. Redbirds with 11. Saluki's with just six. Good switch. I like it. Trotter is on car now. I like that switch. Altadonna's on Lust. That's a, that's a much better matchup. Carr comes out on top. Wants to make the one-on-one -on -one move. On the baseline, fades and hits Chris Carr with a huge bucket. Puts his team back up 82 to 80. Trotter with a quick three, and wow, he hit that. Kevin Stallings was ready to go out and That's strangle amazing. him, I think, but it goes oh, in. Boy. That's why he's their leading scorer. He gave one up on the other end, but played terrific defense. Came back. Boy, he can that. Redbirds with a one-point lead, 340 remaining. Carr on the baseline, goes to the basket, and oh, count the bucket. Franklin thought he had position. And Jim Gibbons, yep. I want to see this one again. They gave him the baseline. Now, see, they waited much too long to come over and cut him off. The help and recover theory, they waited too long, Tom. They gave him a great angle. Now, watch. He got such a good angle at the basket. By the time they did come over to help, it was too late because, he, right, look at, he had already left his feet. Too late, made the contact, forced the contact, finished the shot. Carr gives his team the lead, 84-83, and now we'll go to the free throw line to try and make it a three-point play. Yeah. 
Takes his time and hits. And we got a timeout. What a ball game here at SIU. Three minutes, 34 seconds left, and the Salukis lead it by a pair. Seconds left, Southern with a two-point lead over ISU. And let's go to this replay one well, more time. Take a look. They are playing very good defense. Now, you can't guard, but now look at how high he went up there. Trotter did, because he has good leaping ability, but there's not much you can do about that. Now, Carr and Timmons have scored the last 15 points, and listen to this, 33 of the 40 points that Southern has scored in this half. <laughs> 33 of 40 points. Well, we said it would be tough for Illinois State to withstand the one-two punch. It's a two-point game. They have withstood that one-two punch. And now going down the stretch, Altadonna with Carr right there defensively. And Southern has stepped up the defense a little bit here. Rich Heron talks to his team. Trotter in the lane. Got it. Maurice Trotter with a big bucket, ties it back up at 85. That's a pretty doggone one-on-one -on -one move right there. We've talked a lot about coaching on both sides. Rich Heron's team right now doing Muller. a great job offensively. Muller back on Carr, went into a 1-4 set that time with Hawkins out front. On the right side, that's Hawkins. Well, this is where you have to box out. This is where you have to box out. And they did. Two and a half minutes remain. It's 85 all. Out to Donna. They're looking for Trotta right now. Muller gets it on top. Kaysen. Car way back off him. Back to Chad Altadonna. Shot clock at 15. Game clock at 2.10. Kaysen at the free throw line. They're just daring him to shoot it. Back to Altadonna. Shot clock at 6. At 5. There it is, lower corner. Altadonna with the throw up. Couldn't get it. Right inside. Lost it, but Altadonna got it. Hold on. But a foul call. A foul called inside. Well, they burned as much of that clock as you said, oh. Tom, as they possibly can. And, boy, they've got somebody going to the free throw line right now. But, boy, they almost didn't get themselves a good look. But they hurried right at the end and got something out of it and got themselves to the line. Ian Stewart has just fouled out with 18 points. He had a huge first uh -huh. half. He kept the Salukis in it and now fouls out and gets a nice hand as he comes off. Yep, getting a standing ovation from some people, and he deserves it because he played very, very hard. We're down to the game shooting with still Illinois State at 67%, if you can believe it, on the road. Southern at 52. Big free throws here. Right hits the first. He'll get one more, and the Redbirds take the lead. Just under two minutes remain. Right hits them both. Have we got a dandy oh, here or what? Is this fun to watch? Me... Tell you what, Missouri Valley basketball is a lot of fun. you got to get to that tournament. A long three comes off. Rebound. Carr and a foul on Muller. Carr was trying to catch the rebound and slam. Couldn't do it, but he gets fouled by Muller. Muller did as good a job as you can do, Tom, but watch the leaping ability of Carr. Watch one hand. He's going to go right up over the top. Look at that. Boy, that is pretty doggone good, and he almost had himself a slam. He's got a way of, of just getting inside people, he and Timmons both, on those rebounds on that glass right there, and they are really tough to check out. Now Carr with a chance to tie it back up with a minute 46 remaining. get one more. Well, we've had ourselves a few lead changes, have we? Oh, we have. And the nice thing about it is neither team has cracked. That's right. what I like. Right. Neither team has cracked under pressure. And we're down to a 1 minute and 46 ball game right now. This one to tie it. <laughs> 87 all. Saluki crowd gets back up. Jason on the right side. Looks for the open man. Boy, they're running that motion offense pretty good right now, I'll tell you. That Kansas offense, they're really moving and making it tough on Southern. Trotter for three. Wow, what a huge three. Maurice 
Maurice Trotter with another big bucket. See if they go into a zone. See if they go zone. Yeah, they are. They're, let's see. Now, Trotter's guarding man-to-man -man over here. Could be a triangle uh, they, in two. It, it, and... I think it is. He, he's guarding man-to-man -man right there. The rest are just zoning an area. Yep, they've got a triangle of two going. Wright is on Timmons, Timmons and uh, Muller is on Carr. Foul call. Wright picks up his fourth as Timberlake will check back in. Brzezinski, who took that long three, checks out. So Timmons goes to the line now. He's got a couple. Only a 51% free throw shooter, as I said earlier. He's Tom. done the job today, yep, though. He, uh, he's had a marvelous touch from the glass. I knew it as yeah, soon well, as I said that. We'll get, you know we'll, there's a timeout, and we'll get blamed for it. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a good one. A minute and one second remain here at SIU Arena in the Salukis. Trail it to Illinois. Minute one remaining. Illinois State with a three-point lead. You know what? Let's take a quick look at the Missouri Valley standings right now. Tulsa on top, eight and one. Bradley seven and two. Southern Illinois right there, five and two. Illinois State at four and three, <laughs> right behind Evansville. This is a real log you jam bet. behind uh, Tulsa and Bradley. The schedule has been at this point has been in Tulsa's favor, uh, Tom. They played Southern and Evansville at home, but fi five of their final nine games are on the road. Bradley's playing five of their road games to close out the schedule. Tim in second one will drop in, and here comes Chad Altadonna back in. That shooter back in, right? Shooter. Yep. Right will leave. And experience. Illinois State with a two-point lead. Hey, 90 to 88 is the most points combined for two teams in a Valley game this year. Now they put the full court pressure on. Without Kaysen in there? No, he's... Oh, he's... I'm sorry, he is. Good. Muller gets it ahead to Kern, and they'll go right... That's right where they wanted it. Trotter on the baseline, the high... Arker, what a big bucket! Wow, has he been something today! And Southern needs a timeout. Trotter got it on the baseline, looked to the basket, took a dribble, and wow, what a bucket. I mean, the most amazing thing about that, Tom, was the fact that Timberlake came out at him. I mean, you've never seen a guy come out. Timberlake is 6'9". You watch now. Take a look. There's Kaysen. They got the ball right now. Watch Timberlake come out and watch him intimidate that guy. It didn't make a bit of difference. And then, boy, that was, abso that was absolutely terrific. There's another angle right now. I think the first one that came out, is that Timmons that's coming out right there in the corner, Tom? Yeah, that's Marcus Timmons right there, and then Timberlake right behind him, and boy, he wasn't distracted one bit. Well, look for a Rawlings play of the game later in today's telecast. A winning shot, a big rebound, a key defensive move. We'll show it to you on the Rawlings play of the game. And you know what? We got a lot to choose oh, from boy. right now. Has this been a great oh. one? And you know the other thing you and I can talk about? Great basketball in the Missouri Valley. We're seeing a fantastic game today. Coming up in March, the Missouri Valley Tournament, the Diet Pepsi Missouri Valley Tournament at the new state-of-the-art Keel Center. What a great, great weekend that college basketball fans have a chance to see. I tell you, there have been years time where you pretty well thought maybe you know who was going yeah. to walk out of there with that conference the tournament championship but not this year boy the way Illinois State is playing right now and you've got Evansville and you've got Bradley and you've got Southern and you've got Tulsa it is really going to be entertainment at its best fans call and get your tickets because it will be a great weekend of college basketball in St. Louis right now we got a great Saturday afternoon Redbirds with a lead on top, Hawkins with it on the wing. Baseline jump shot comes up short. Big rebound for Trotter. Has he done almost everything down the stretch for his team? And with 31 seconds, the foul call. Played played probably a box and one that time because they had Carr all over the floor by himself. Timmons was standing down underneath in the paint with nobody around him, but the zone was taking. Look at 10 of the last 12 for ISU. That is what you really call pressure down the stretch. Trotter, just a junior, 6'4", 185-pounder from Lawrence, Kansas, and there's no secret how Kevin Stallings got him. He was a longtime assistant with Roy Williams at KU. Trotter. Boy, is this a veteran player. 
I mean, this is a kid that's just stepped up in the face of a big-time oh. tough crowd. He has made some mammoth shots, and I don't think that's an understatement. He no. has made some mammoth shots in the last five minutes of this game. Now you can't stop that clock. 94-88. Remember with yep. the three, just two quick ones. Baseline, this could be one of them. Rebound tapped out. Another three, and that is one of them in a timeout. Time Hawkins got the rebound, took one dribble and put it up, and now it's a three-point game. Now they've got it down to one more possession, and that's why it was critical. And boy, that long rebound came out right where they needed to have it come out, Tom. Watch. They know what they're looking for. There's Lusk over in the corner. Now watch the rebound. Watch the long rebound. See, that's that's what they always try. And then Timmons hit the ball and, and kicked it right back out. Hawkins canned it. Well, here's our situation. We have 22 seconds remaining. It's a 94-91 Saluki lead. You see both teams with a timeout, but a big key right now, and Illinois State can't forget about this, they've got the possession arrow. If you get trapped, you put it out in front of the defensive player, let him hold it, and you hold it, and you get it out of bounds and a chance to throw it in. Well, a couple of things have to happen here. I'll be first of all anxious to see if Southern lets them come out, Tom, and set up, and then calls another timeout based on what they see, what the coaching staff sees. You see that a lot. Secondly, if I'm Illinois State, I've got to get that basket ball in the hands of David Kaysen. He is shooting 79% from the free throw line, but he's the guy that's going to be able to, to get you out of those traps. The other guy, I guess, that, you know, if you're thinking about free throws, would be Chad Altadonna, he, one of the a, top free throw shooters in the country at about 91%. Full court pressure, as you would expect. See, they're trying to get it to their free throw shooters. Uh, that's a good call. That is a good call. Now, now, go ahead. That was terrific by Southern Illinois. You know why? Because they didn't start fouling and reaching and grabbing. They knew they had him trapped. He had his back to the floor. He was pinned along the sidelines. They had everything going for him, and that's the only alternative that they had was to get that timeout. But you're right, Tom. Big they did get the ball out. in his hands. And got the ball into his hand. And now the key, remember we saw just a second ago, Illinois State is out of timeouts. It tells you a couple things. Number one, you've got to get it inbounds. You can't get trapped. You can't have anything happen to you because it is a one-possession yeah, game. Exactly. The one thing defensively is if they're going to beat you, you try to encourage them to go long. You don't want to let them catch the ball coming back to the person taking the ball out of bounds. That's why you're looking for that five-second count. If they want to gamble by going long, which I suspect they won't, that's another issue. But, boy, if they don't get the first pass and they don't get the trap right away, they've got to foul and get get the Illinois State to the line. But the interesting thing, Tom, with David Kaysen was on the other side of the floor right in front of the scorer's table. They had two people down at the free throw line, two people here, but David was way back in the corner. Let's see if they do the same thing this time. Now, he's moving up. He's moving up now. Yeah, he's coming back where he can get into the action a little sooner. That's the guy not to foul. I told you about 91%. They'll come back and set a screen for him and a double screen, and they get it into Muller. Get it back to Altadonna. Ooh, dangerous pass to Kaysen. Boy, they're letting him kill the clock. Can't follow him. Playing keep away. Ten seconds and finally tried to foul Kern. Kaysen gets it back to Altadonna, and they foul Chad Altadonna at half court with 4.2 seconds remaining. Southern did everything they could to try and pick up the foul, but Jim Gibbons, a great job by SISU to play keep away and hang out of that basketball. They spread that floor and really did a terrific job. The one thing you have to worry about, Tom, is you have to cut down those passing angles and you have to take the ball to the action, and that's just what they did. They kept taking the ball to the action. Did they call a time, Southern? Yep. They want okay. uh, they want Chad out to Donna mm -hmm. to think about it. You yep. and I are going to take a break and catch our breath. <laughs> we got four seconds to go, and the Redbirds lead it by three, and Alta Donna's going to the line. 94 to 91, and Jim Givens, they've got one of the best free throw shooters in the country, and Chad Altadonna going to line. Well, you know what they do call him, really, seriously. They call oh. him Chatomatic for that very reason. That's what they call him. It's in the guide, and I've done enough of their games over the years that I know that. And, you know, you couldn't ask for a better situation. You've got the senior. Now, look at Illinois State not putting a person up on that free throw line. That's the last thing they want to do is have somebody going for a 
rebound and causing some contact. Timmons down there with Scott Brzezinski. One is really big. And he missed the front end. Down the floor. They need the three. And just off the rim at the buzzer. Paul Lusk had the shot at the buzzer. It goes off. Wow, what a finish here at SIU. Boy, they got out of it what they wanted, Tom. You know, it's hard to believe that they were going to get this kind of a shot. He couldn't get it down into the corner, which is where I thought he was going to go with it because a man was wide open. He put it on the floor for a dribble. Boy, he got it up and right off of the rim. Wow, what a finish here at SIU. The Redbirds get a huge win. We'll take a break and come back. We'll give you our player of the game and play of the game next.